What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of Tech once again, and today I was going to go over how you can enable large page mode in Middle Earth Shadow of War and why it could be helpful. And we're going to do a live benchmark with it turned off and turned on in 4K on the GTX 1080 Ti, so stick around. Welcome back. Large page mode allows the application, or in this case Shadow of War, to allocate faster memory. So we're going to go ahead and go through enabling it because you do have to go through an extra little step here, so follow along. Alrighty, so while I was benchmarking, I got through benchmarking most of these settings like I typically do. And if you guys haven't seen that before, definitely check out my percent change in FPS by setting for some previous titles like Destiny 2. Now if we take a look here there's this option for large page mode but in large red print or small red print it says large page mode requires administrator privileges. So if I go to try to enable it essentially it will not let me and it'll give me this little how to. Well it didn't even do that before so that's interesting. Okay, here, this is typically what it'll give you. It'll say, enable large page support, large page mode requires administrator privileges. So we need to give Shadow of War administrator privileges. So we're going to do that first. And this works with pretty much any Steam game. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If you go to your Steam library and then right click the game and click properties, you're going to then proceed to click local files. Click browse local files and then it should open your file browser to obviously the game files. So now we just need to find the executable. Luckily it's pretty easy to find under the 64-bit folder here and we see shadowofwar.exe. We want to right click that, click properties, click compatibility, and then click run this program as an administrator and apply. Then we can click OK and now we should be able to go back to the Steam library and click play. Alrighty, now that we're back in the game, we're going to go back into the options menu and the advanced video configuration. And then we see that the warning for enabling large page mode has gone away. However, before we enable it, let's go ahead and do a benchmark run, keeping in mind that we are recording at 4K with the NVMe protocol, aka Shadowplay, albeit through OBS. So the benchmark here is going to be on an i7-6800K overclocked to 4.5 GHz, mated to an ASRock Tai Chi X99 motherboard with 32 GB of 3200 MHz memory in quad channel. And the game is running on a solid state drive and the GPU is none other than the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti for the win. Alrighty, so disabled or large page mode disabled, we got an average FPS of 54 with a min of 11 and a max of 157. Continuing back to the advanced video options menu, we will now enable large page mode and say OK. And it says large page support has been disabled in Windows. You must restart to complete this process. So, and so now we just need to restart Shadow of War to get this completely enabled. So we will exit, click play once again, go back into the options menu, and now we see that large page mode is enabled. Now let's go ahead and run the benchmark again. So to me, it doesn't really appear that you would want to enable large page mode. The minimum FPS dropped down to 10 from 11 and our average to 54. So in this particular case on this system, the large page mode doesn't appear to be giving us any performance benefits, if changing at all from it being disabled. Now I'll have to reapproach this maybe with a different GPU, maybe an AMD 
version like an RX which might have like the HBCC enabled etc to see if it makes any changes differences there now I am aware HBCC does only affect like system memory and if you have an overflow but I'm just saying that because of the HBM I guess I should clarify that that might have more of an effect on AMD GPUs. So that's how you enable large page mode in Middle Earth Shadow of War. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to leave a like and a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you guys saw anything different in the performance or the benchmark runs with it enabled or disabled. Thanks for watching and as always I will see you next Tuesday.